Hi everybody, my name is Julia Lanto. I am an environmental biologist for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And tonight we are at the Las Vegas Wash. And the Las Vegas Wash plays a vital role in our valley's hydrologic cycle. And it actually allows us to recycle about 200 million gallons of water every day back into Lake Mead. The Las Vegas Wash is comprised of highly treated wastewater, urban runoff, stormwater, and shallow groundwater. Tonight, we are actually going to be doing bat surveys. Um, what I have here beside me is what is called a triple high mist net. Um, we are going to be taking these nets. Um, we will be hanging them across this pathway. There will be three nets stacked on top of each other. And our hope is that bats are flying through this cottonwood area um, to forage and look for insects. And we're hoping that they fly into our nets. They'll get kind of tangled in the nets. Um, they won't get hurt or anything, and we'll be able to take the bats out. We'll be able to identify the bats, age them, sex them, and just kind of check their bodies, make sure that they don't have any wing damage or anything that we should note. Um, we also are um, swabbing for white nose syndrome. White nose syndrome has been detected in the States since 2006, and it has been very detrimental to bat populations, killing them by the millions. And we have not detected the fungus in Nevada, but we are still trying to be proactive here in this state. And we are swabbing every bat in their forearm as well as their muzzle. And then those samples will get sent to a lab and they'll get um, analyzed to make sure that we don't have the fungus present here. So over the last 25 years, the Las Vegas wash has gone through significant changes. Um, back in 1998, the Las Vegas Wash Coordination Committee was formed, and we have been working really hard to restore this area. To date, we have added more than 30 miles of bank protection, removed about 1,500 acres of invasive plants, and revegetated more than 600 acres of native plants, as well as building 21 erosion control structures throughout the Las Vegas Wash. And we're hoping that through all of these changes and building all of this extra wildlife habitat that we're encouraging more species to come and use the area. So we're hoping through these surveys, we not only detect the same bats that we detected back in our previous studies that were done more than a decade ago, but maybe we even get other species here as well.